Alright, I'm going to do my best to um, try to demonstrate a splash top whiteboard for you. I've gone through and done just a little bit of setup on my Mac and on my iPad. And, <laughs> and um, this is what you'll see once you first connect to your computer on your iPad. Um, just giving you a few quick uh, shortcuts uh, to tap, to click, to hold and right click, double tap. Um, one of the things I like about splash top whiteboard is that a lot of the gestures on the iPad itself are very similar to what you do on your Mac to control anything. You can turn off the hints when you activate. It even shows you tap on this button to activate annotation mode. The annotation mode is one thing that makes splash top whiteboard different than the other splash tops from before. Let me touch on the pen, here it comes. As you can see, once you touch on annotation mode, it shows you all the tools that you have available once you're controlling the, your present, I call it my presentation computer. You have a, a pointer, a pen, highlighter, eraser, uh, shapes, you can draw ovals, you can draw rectangles, you can even add text and annotate over anything that's on your screen. I'll try to change the angle and get y'all a better look without so much of my pretty face in the glare here. Uh, that might help a little bit. All right. And of course, the goal with Splash Top Whiteboard is to control your presentation computer wirelessly from your iPad and be anywhere in the classroom. What I'm going to try to do real quick to show you kind of the power and one of my goals with it is open up an app or an ebook that I have in Finder. Whoops. Pull out my tools again. <laughs> Double click on Finder. There it comes. Again, the gestures are really, really easy and really, really smooth and similar if you were actually just doing them on your Mac here themselves. I'm going to go over here to Documents. I'm going to search for my ebook. E I already know the name of it. Double tap to pull out the keyboard or push the keyboard button. It's pretty amazing. E M C. Return. Close the keyboard and it pulls up all of my practice books. I'm going to go ahead and pull up. Hmm. Ah, here's one. You can see here's a shot that's come up. What's going on on my Mac? Of course, when you did this in class, you already have this part open and prepared, but I just want to give you kind of a brief glimpse of what you can do with it in a classroom. They get to an actual student practice page. If you were going to do an ebook in this classroom, you could do it yourself, but now you're walking around the room speaking to the class and with the class while you do these things, and you can actually go ahead and hand off the iPad to a student in class. Um, it says here to read this brainstorming web for an article on a school newspaper, think about the purpose in the audience, and cross out the topics that don't fit. Well, if you're in class, this is what's being projected up on your board for the students to see. School news, and we're talking about school newspaper articles. You can pull out the pen and let the students cross out which one doesn't really have to go with school news. Uh, Moons of Jupiter would be one. When you cross it on your iPad, it shows up right on your screen and presents to the whole class. You could um, go ahead and hand it off to a student and let a student talk about, oh, skateboard tricks might be fun, but it doesn't really tell a lot about the school. All right? If you hand this off to a student in class, you can guarantee that they're really, really, really going to want to do it and hand it. Plus, I really enjoy it because it gives you that proximity. You're not tied behind your podium anymore, stuck with a wire. You're walking around the room checking students' understanding and controlling everything they do, or excuse me, controlling everything they see from your iPad. Alright, just a little short clip. As always, may the apps be with you. Check out Splash Top Whiteboard in the App Store.